bitches. Look at me, look at me. They ain't like me before, now they booking me. The glow up got bitches all shook me. Then I said, Cardi B, what you cooking, B? I said, bitches got me on some new shit. I swear, niggas got me feeling. So today, my head itches. Gosh. Anyways, so today I'm doing a story time on the time I got cheated on. No, this is not recent that I just got cheated on. Me and Jamie are good. He ain't cheated on me. I ain't cheated on him. So little females. Pipe down because you know I get my nigga. But like I say in all my videos, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you do have a post notifications turned on. And yeah. Also, if I lift my hands up and y'all see it, my hands are pink because I put this in my niece's hair because I wanted the hair to be pink. It's a L'Oreal Paris Colorista Colorista hairspray. It says it's a day one color for hits and highlights. It's just I had this because I wanted to try it one time because I didn't want to dye my hair. So that was the alternative. I didn't like it. It like stains you and it makes your hair hard. Who wants hard hair? Not I. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get on to this story time. So this happened a couple years ago. And there's two different occasions of like when it happened because I've only dated three people in my life and I got cheated on by the other two so yeah the first one we are going to call him scary ass so scary ass I have met him in eighth grade I thought he was cute or whatever and I just want to say Jamie sorry I'm looking at my phone I just want to say like I'm not thinking about these niggas this is just a video I wanted to do like I just thought about it and I wanted to do it so I'm doing it but don't feel no type of way because you know I love you and we're not breaking up ever so don't even think we're breaking up because it's not happening but yeah anyways I thought scary ass was real cute blah blah um he we didn't really talk in eighth grade just because I was a very shy person so I didn't really talk to him but like my best friend knew that I thought he was cute so she told him and he came and approached me one time and I was just so nervous that I was just like like a turtle went in the shell. <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't know why I have my hood on. I just thought it was cute. I like this color. It's pink. I'm really fucking with pink right now. But um yeah, my best friend ended up telling him and there was this other girl that I was cool with at the time. My friend. And she knew I thought he was cute and I liked him. She ended up fucking with him. Um, I looked past that because I was like, well, I don't really want to be with him anyways. Like, I don't really want to be in a relationship. So, I didn't care too much. And then by then, like, me and her wasn't friends no more anyways. So, um, what happened? Later on, they didn't work out or nothing like that. Then a little while later... Um, me and him started getting closer and closer, like, talking-wise. Not, like, really, like, talking, talking, but, like, talking and being friends. We got pretty cool like that. And I was in a relationship, and I used to, I don't know why. Girls, don't do this, okay? But I asked my boyfriend at the time if I could make my, because he became my best friend. So I was like, can I make my best friend my man Chris Monday? My boyfriend at the time was like, yeah, like, nigga, put your foot down. So he didn't really think too much of it, I guess. But now that I think about it, that was wrong as fuck. Like, I should not have done that. But, um, I ended up making him my man crush one day. We became, like, really close and cool with each other. He started hanging out with my brother. And then in ninth grade, um, you know, that's when I was still in school. Because I don't know if I mentioned it before, but I started homeschooling in ninth grade. Because I don't like school. Like, I wasn't fucking with it. Like, it was just... Oh, like, bitches used to hate on me. I never got bullied, but bitches used to hate on me for some lame-ass reason. They hated on my hair, because I would wear, like, extensions and stuff to school, and I don't know. They just, they never did shit, but they would try to talk a lot of shit, but nobody would ever do nothing to me. I don't know why, but oh well. Let's pass, and I don't give a fuck about none of these bitches. Me and him got real close, and, you know, started talking to each other more. He ended up having a kid. And I kind of had forgot about that because then about a year later when I was in 10th grade we started talking to each other more and more and we started getting really close with each other and then what's it called what happened he 
started coming over more. My mom kind of warned me. I was like, no, do not talk to him. I don't want you talking to him. Like, y'all can stay friends or whatever. But I don't want you, you know, getting a relationship with him. And I was just like, okay. But my dumb ass did it anyways. And I got in a relationship with him. And then after that, um, it was cool. Like, the beginning of our relationship was cool. Stuff like that. You know, just chilling, vibing, whatever. Sitting here editing this my voice i'm so sorry like i don't know what's going on with my voice like I, the more i was talking like the more like raspier and stuff it started sounding so i apologize but yeah and i know i seem like real like like i don't give a fuck that's because i don't give a fuck about these people like i'm kind of like irritated but i wanted to do a video for you guys so yeah so don't mind that i know i'm not as hype as i should be but I apologize, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that. Uh, we happen to live together, not together, but like basically together. We live in the same apartment complex. And then as the relationship started going on, he kind of was getting to the point where he was staying out a lot later with his cousins and stuff like that. He wasn't, I believe he, he was cheating on me. That's when he started cheating on me. But it was between these two girls who happened to they be friends at one point. Like, that don't even make sense. Like, how hey, y'all gonna be friends with y'all both? Fuck with the same nigga that you know is in a relationship, but whatever. So, yeah, that's when he started cheating on me. I was a dumbass, and I stayed, and I started, like, people started telling me, like, because I was, I had friends and stuff, so when I was at home, people would text me or message me on Instagram or message me on Facebook and just tell me, like, hey, scary ass is doing this, scary ass is doing that, like, you need to leave him. It wasn't just girls. It wasn't just my best friend or like any of my other girlfriends that I was close to. It was guys too that, was, uh, that I was pretty cool with and that knew him really well. And they're like, hey, we see a scary ass doing this at school in the gym with this person. And we saw a scary ass doing this with this person, this person, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I would confront him and everything. And it was, no, 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 I'm not doing that. They're just trying to break up what we got, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, you're right, you're right, you know. They, you're not doing nothing. Dumbass, yes he was. And then, um, what happened after that? I started seeing messages between him and this other girl. I said I'm not going to even focus on it. But I started seeing messages because he left his house. His house. Because he left his phone at my house one time. And I went through it. I guess his password. <laughs> and I went through it. And he was messaging this girl. Telling her he still loved her. And he was always going to love her. And it's not all this bullshit. And I confronted him. And I'm not going to lie, it was a very abusive girlfriend. I think he, he basically pulled it out of me. Because with Jamie and I'm not like that at all. But um, I was very abusive. <laughs> I put my hands on him. I would hit him. I would cuss him smooth the fuck out. I would... I tried to push him down the stairs a couple times. Because, you know, in an apartment complex. You know, we got stairs and stuff. So I tried to push him down the stairs and stuff. I would punch him in his bag. I'd hit him in his head. I'd pull his hair. I'd knock his ass down to the ground. And all types of shit. But then it would just turn into, no, I mean, it's not like that. It's not like that. Blah, blah, blah. It's this, 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 this. You know, I'm not going to get too much into it. And then, you know, I'm just like, okay, you're right. <laughs> Stupid ass. Like, I was just really dumb. But everybody's dumb in their life at one point in time. And then, you know, stuff just kept going on. People just kept telling me shit. I ended up getting pregnant. I'm, I know I'm talking real fast. I don't know why I'm talking so fast, but yeah. But then I ended up getting pregnant by this dude. And that's when stuff really started hitting me. Because he was still doing that fuckboy shit. And I was like, we need to take a break. Like, Because as, as I was pregnant, I have my uh, pregnancy story on my couple's channel. So go check it out. It'll be somewhere down here, the channel name. So go there and check out my pregnancy story. I kind of get a little bit more in depth with the stuff. But my pregnancy was not that great because of him. Like we fought a lot and argued and I would have to hunt him down to like come with me. Like hey I'm not feeling good or this or that. Because he would leave me to go hang out with friends and go do all this other stuff. And not really pay attention to me like I'm carrying a child and you're not giving a damn. But that's besides the point. <laughs> but then... It got to the point to where I was still like chasing him around and going to hunt him down and stuff and I'm pregnant 
and I was about eight months pregnant still doing it I'm like I can't be doing this like my son is about to be here and I'm over here chasing around somebody who clearly does not give a fuck like he says he does so you know I still try to work it out and everything after my son was born and then it just kept getting worse like I just couldn't deal with it and by then like I don't know something just clicked in my head and my whole mindset was different i was just like i'm not doing this like i'm not gonna be in a household with you and raise a child with you and all we do is fight and argue you never want to be at home you just want to be running right the streets smoking weed doing this and that like i don't have time for that like be having a child really made me grow up really fast and then obviously it didn't make him grow up at all because he still does stupid ass shit and by that point, I believe Jerron was about a month or so, and I told him, I was like, I need a break. Like, just, I was like, I feel like we need a break. And he, he was cool with it. He's like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Like, we don't have to talk to other people, blah, blah, blah. I was just like, I don't care if you talk to other people. I was like, I'm not going to talk to other people, but, like, if you want to talk to somebody else, go ahead. Because, really, in my head, it was like, it wasn't a break. It was, I wanted to break up with him. Because so much shit had went on with him, and I was with him for two years. It's like so much repetitive shit was going on that I, like, I just started getting tired of it. And I just couldn't take it no more. And it's like I'm not bringing my son into this and like he thinking this is how you treat a girl. Like I'm not doing that. So then like I told him that he was cool with it. And then I messaged him again a couple minutes later and I was like no like I want to break up. Like I don't want to be with you no more. I'm sorry. And he was like he went off. How was it going to turn from a a break to you breaking up with me that doesn't make sense there must be somebody else there wasn't nobody else I just I didn't want to deal with that shit no more like I feel like my son didn't need to see nothing like that so and plus he used to call me out my name he used to do all types of shit to me and I don't got time for that like I'm not doing it so I ended up breaking up with him he used to stalk my ass still to this day he's stalking me like it's crazy nigga makes fake accounts and stuff to watch my every move have other people watching me like you was lame and pathetic. So if you're watching this, you lame and pathetic. And ain't nobody got time for that bullshit. I'm not worried about none of y'all people. Like, I'm living my best life over here. And my son is living his best life. And we good. That's like the end of that one. We're going to go on to my next relationship. And we're going to just call him Fuckboy. Yeah. And good thing with this one. I'm going to spend like four to five months with this dude. But um, this was back whenever Curious Cat was like still popping if you know what curious cat is it's like an anonymous like website where you can ask questions or tell people stuff you know where they don't have to know like really who you are it was always on there i was always posting on there and i had seen this dude before on instagram i was like oh he's cute or whatever ha 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 blah and then um one day i got this message on curious cat and he says something like are you ready to like be in a relationship and stuff like that and i was just I was just like answering the questions like nothing. I was just like, I mean, if the time is right, blah, blah, you know. I don't remember exactly what I said to y'all because it, it was a while ago. And I was just like, I mean, I'm open to it to talk to somebody. And then he was like, well, I'm trying to shoot my shot. And I was just like, okay, shoot it. Because a lot of people was trying to shoot their shot. And they would do it. And I'm like, block, block, block. Like, I was blocking all them shit. So like, I didn't give a damn about no relationship. And then... He told me who he was. He put on his he put his Instagram on there, and I was like, that name just seems so familiar. And so I looked it up on Instagram because I was kind of I kind of got excited, <laughs> and I was like, is this who I think it is? And I looked it up. I was like, and I told my friend, I was like, look, look, look. I was like, is this nigga? Is this nigga? I always thought he was cute, blah blah, but I never knew like he lived over here or this or that, blah blah. And my best friend, she knew who he was. She went to school with him and stuff. Because, like I said, I stopped going to school in ninth grade. Because I didn't want to go to public school no more. I hated school. Like, she was lame as hell. So, I wanted to do uh, homeschooling. And then, um, she knew who he was and stuff like that. And, you know, me and him started talking. We started texting each other. And then, we started talking on FaceTime. And just talking on the phone and stuff. Like, all the time, every day. Then... I started getting like comfortable with the dude so then we started he started coming up to my house keep in mind I didn't know where this nigga lived for a good minute even the whole time we was together 
like a good minute of that time i say about three months and we were together for like four i was two and a half to three months we i did not know where he lived like at all but um what's it called we was talking he finally came over one day but here he had dropped off i think i don't even know how he got there to be honest i don't even know if he got dropped off or walked or something like i mean i don't know because he would never be like okay i'm almost there so like be outside he would just be like okay i'm here but i didn't think nothing of it at the time then like me and him got cool and stuff he started coming over a lot more stuff like that you know he was cool with the family he was good with drawing like he was really he was pretty good with drawing drawing like them and stuff but um my family liked him my brother was cool with him my brother's friends were cool with him because i was pretty close to my brother's friends and stuff like that like i kind of i was used to them niggas like i had seen them all the time it was like a thing like we all grew up together but like i didn't like really hang out with them like that but um then you know we started we was cool or whatever and i had jamie Jamie, he was my best friend when I was dating him. At first, he wasn't. He was just like, you know, so she and then he started. To, I started talking to him more, and then we became best friends. Like we had the best friend title, and but we wasn't best. We didn't say best friend. We called each other best though. We wanted to be a little bit different from everybody else because we ain't basic. <laughs> we ain't basic. But then, you know, stuff started going on with him, with my ex, with fuckboy. And he was just doing too much too. And I was just, I was kind of blind, really truthfully with him. Like with um, Scary Ass. I like knew what was going on, but I was just dumb. With Fuckboy, he hid that shit so good that I didn't know. But he had drama as well. Like both these people had drama. I'm going to just say baby mama drama. They both had baby mama drama. But the thing is with Fuckboy, I didn't know he even had a baby mama. I'm not even gonna lie, like, I did not know he had a baby mom. He hid that shit from me. Until she came popping up at my motherfucking door and shit, like, bitches are do some lame-ass shit. Like, I didn't even know about you. He never told me about you or nothing like that, like, it's not my fault. He was doing some lame-ass shit, apparently, the whole time we was together. But then one day, he was, he was out with one of my brother's friends, and I had got this message from this girl I used to be pretty close to and she was like hey I just want to let you know like fuck boy did this you need a she was like I don't want you to get hurt something along the lines like I don't want you to get hurt so this is why I'm telling you you need to drop fuck boy because he's no good for you blah 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 and I opened up the message to like really see all of it and she had sent me these pictures and he ended up giving this bitch a, a hickey on her neck meanwhile we was together so why is you sucking all that bitch's neck you know but he ended up giving this girl a hickey and this, that girl told me and i i really appreciate that because like i feel like as females like we need to help each other like because that's not cute to be cheating or do anything like that like i feel like if i knew somebody was cheating which i've done it before <laughs> Like, if I know somebody's cheating on you, I'm going to let you know. Because that's so fucked up. Like, I feel like I wouldn't want somebody to let me know. And she didn't let me know. But she ended up letting me know. Oh, I just ripped my pants. Like, it's already ripped, but I just ripped it more. Gosh. But, um, yeah, he ended up giving her a hickey. And I found out. And I was messaging him. And he was, like, not responding to me. And, but actually before that, so let me go back. I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Before that, something else had happened. Because he was always at my house. By then, I knew where he lived. He actually turned out to live like two minutes up the street from me. Legit, like legit two minutes up the street. Like we could walk back and forth. And then, um, one night he had my sister's car. Because fuckboy didn't have a car. So he had my sister's car. He was supposed to be going to do something. I can't remember what he was supposed to be doing. But he was supposed to be going to do something and coming back. And then I was on my Snapchat. And I got on this girl's. Like I'm clicking through. You know. Because that's mainly what I do. Even on Instagram. I just click through people's stuff. I don't necessarily always read everybody's stuff. Or look at everybody's stuff. So that's what I'm doing. I'm clicking. But then I realized as I'm clicking. I was like hold on. That dude look familiar. So I'm going back. This nigga is at a whole other bitch's house. 
I'm over there texting him and calling him, trying to see where he's at. Like, are you okay? Like, are you coming back or what? Like, you have my sister's car. He's at a whole nother bitch's house, y'all. A whole nother bitch's house. And this bitch knew about me. She knew I was with him. Like, bitches is grimy as fuck. Like, y'all is dirty as hell. But she knew I was with him and she posted this nigga. He's just chilling at her house, like, that couple and everything. And then I'm over there calling him, texting him, blah, blah. He's not answering. Finally, I get a hold of him and he was like, what? I'm on my way back right now. I was at the gas station. Nigga, know the fuck you was not. And then I went off and I was telling him everything I saw and he hung up on me. That's when I knew, like, this nigga off some bullshit because he just got caught. I go back to the girl's Snapchat so I can screenshot the shit. Her scary ass done deleted it. <laughs> but then I kind of let that slide. I was like, okay, you know what? There's a one-time thing. Like, you do that shit again, like, it's over with, period. Like, I don't give a damn. I'm giving you this one chance. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to keep this, like, out of my face. But it is not. Okay, now we're going to fast forward to the Higgy situation. I already said all that. So then... Once I found that out, you know, I'm calling him, texting him. He's on some bullshit trying to deny it. So, I'm like, okay. I'm trying to talk to this nigga. He ended up coming to my house. We met halfway. So, like I said, we could just watch each other's house. We met halfway so I could talk to his ass. And he had gave me a necklace, I think. Yeah, I think he had gave me a necklace for Mother's Day or something like that. And, um... I had it in my hand, like I had to get off, I had it in my hand, I gave it to him as soon as I saw him and I was going off and I was like, like what the fuck are you doing, like if you don't want to be with me just tell me, like there's no point in doing all this bullshit, and he was like I don't know what you're talking about, I don't know what you're talking about, he's laughing about it, he's talking about you're just crazy, like you don't know what's going on, I didn't do nothing, and I showed him the proof, and then he got quiet, and I'm like yeah exactly, you know we're going off blah blah blah, and then, he just, I'm trying, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, blah, 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 I love you, blah, blah, and I was just like, at that point, I was like, I just kept backing away from him, I was like, nigga, no, like, if you love me, you wouldn't have done that to begin with, and then, um, but, like, all before any of that other stuff, there was other incidents that I would see, people would come to my curious cast saying shit about him, saying he was doing this and that, I'm looking stupid, saying he had been at other bitches' houses, yeah, my throat hurts, so I don't know. But, yeah, and then after that, like, him trying to apologize to me and everything, and I was just like, no, like, fuck all that. And I try to just be like, you know what, okay, whatever. And then he left to go to his friend's house, which is my brother's friend. And I was just so heated, y'all. I was like, fuck that. But, like, I'm not dealing with that shit no more. I went to my room. Because he used to have shit here. And I went in my room, packed up all his shit, put it in a trash bag, drove that shit to his house, threw it on his front porch, and I left. He tried to come back trying to get his shit. And I was like, oh, it's already at home. You already, your shit is at your house. And ever since then, like, I didn't fuck with him again. Then it kind of got to where we was trying to be cool with each other, like friends. We wasn't trying to date or nothing like that. We was just trying to be cool with each other. But then he still kept trying to do, like, trying to fuck with me still i low-key was still fucking with him but not really in a relationship type fucking with him it was just ill but i was like i don't really want to be in a relationship with you like at that point it was dead then he was doing some grimy ass shit and all that and i was just like hell no like i don't got time for that anymore and i was just like you better than this brie like you don't need nobody that treats you like that like you're worth so much more so then I broke it off with him, stopped fucking talking to him, and yeah, now I'm with Jamie, he treats me right, he treats me how I should always, like how any female should be treated, like he treats me like a queen, and I really am thankful for Jamie because he showed me, like I did have a wall up for the longest with Jamie because I was so scared that I was going to get hurt again, I had this wall up and it kind of was fucking up me and his relationship because of how everything happened to me in the past so i was just scared that he was gonna do the same thing to me y'all he didn't do that he never cheated on me he never made me think that he was cheating on me if i feel suspicious of course i'm gonna say something but bitches have tried to say some shit but they always get caught up in their lies so it's like no baby my nigga didn't do that he not done but yeah like i'm really thankful for jamie and i love jamie 
I got a promise ring from my bands. I got a date tattoo. I never felt this way about no dude before. Like, I really do. Like, we talk about making, having, like, our own children together and stuff like that. And, like, everything, our relationship is just so much more mature. And we don't fight. Like, we fight, of course, but we don't fight like how I was fighting with the other two. Like, everything is, like, a real grown adult relationship with him. So, like I said, I'm real thankful for you, Jamie. <laughs> and I love you. Bye. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I don't know if I was talking too much. I feel like my voice started going a little weird. Like I feel like I'm talking really weird right now and I don't know why. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. Uh, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you have my post notifications turned on. And yeah, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bitches.